In my two and a half years in Congress, I've written several bills to support a whole of government approach against our adversaries. Last year and this year, I introduced the Protect Our Universities Act to combat espionage targeting advanced defense-related technology research on college campuses. I also recently introduced a bill to prevent malicious technology companies linked to the Chinese government from hiring US, U.S. national security professionals to lobby on their behalf. China's persistent attempts to steal military blueprints and sensitive data must be addressed by Congress with eyes wide open. But today I'm here to focus on another initiative. In May, I introduced H.R. 2903, the Blocking Investment in Our Adversaries Act, with the intention of reversing a controversial decision by the Federal Retirement Thrift Investment Board in November of 2017. If allowed to continue, the thrift, the thrift Savings Plan is scheduled to invest in the MSCI ACWI index by next year. Under this index, federal employees' retirement plans would contribute to Chinese, Russian, and other potentially problematic economies. Companies included in the index include ZTE Corporation, High K Vision, and the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, all three of which support the Chinese government in a techno technological or military capacity. It seems ironic that federal employees' funds would be used to support our adversaries. Many of these employees spend their entire career countering adversarial actions by countries like China. So I appreciate this group's attention to this issue as well as Senator Rubio and Senator Shaheen's bipartisan letter to the chairman of the Federal Retirement Thrift Investment Board. In an era of competition with China and Russia, the United States must formulate a whole of government approach to prevent unnecessary economic support to either nation.